friends. Um, lots and lots of people have um, asked recently when we are actually going to get married, because I mention it a lot, and it's been kind of a waiting game. Um, so we know when we're going to get married now, and it's not going to be very long, it's a couple of weeks' time, so I thought I would finally do my um, makeup look on YouTube. So here it is, this is what I'm going to wear. Um, the lips are kind of up for discussion, but you'll see that at the end of the video. Uh, so if you want to see how I did this, then stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to start with some primer potion. Um, Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin, which is the um, original Primer Potion, but it's got a little bit of colour to it if you've not seen it before. I'm just going to apply that with my fingers. Okay, next I'm going to take a few MAC shadows. I'm going to use Naked Lunch, which is this kind of shimmery pink colour, and Bronze, which is this one in the corner here. This Surprising the bronzy colour. I'm going to use the Sigma Large Shader, which is the E60, and I'm going to take Naked Lunch and put it all over my lid and up to my brow bone, basically covering where I've just put the Primer Potion. Right, now I'm going to take the E70 Medium Angled Shading Brush which is kind of soft and angled obviously, and I'm going to go into the bronze and just lightly kind of stipple it onto my crease. I want like a really, really subtle, defined crease. Okay, I'm just going to soften that up using my E40 blending brush. I'm going to take my pencil brush, which is the E30, and I'm going to take a very, very dark colour. I'm going to take this espresso, which is a dark, dark brown, and I'm just going to go and deepen my crease, just, just along my crease, right in there. I'm not going to blend it up at all. I just want to put a little bit more depth into my crease. I'm just going to go into a V at the corner of my eye to just to find a little bit of the outer lash line at the top as well. Okay, now I'm actually going to use Carbon Black, obviously black, I don't really need to show you it, um, to do pretty much the same thing, but a little bit less. I just want just the outer corners. And again, I'm going to soften all that up and blend it in with my E40 taper blending brush. So we still want the majority of my lid, and especially the inner part of it, to be nice and bright. Okay, the liner I'm going to use is the Rimmel Glam Eyes, which is um, a liquid liner. And I'm just going to do a little flick. people have requested a tutorial but I don't really know how much I can actually tell you it's I mean I think if you can't do the good liner it's probably about a steady hand so much as anything else but I can tell you how to get a flick it's pretty neat of course it goes differently every time I basically draw the line all the way across Across and then from about there, if you can see that, I just join that up and fill it in. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that's helpful to someone, but I don't know if it needs a dedicated video because I don't think it's all that special. 
Okay, so that's my liner done. And um, the mascara I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Villium. I could never say this. L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. I'll say Villium. Volume Million Lashes on the top lashes. And on the bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Danielle Sonler Baby Jet because I don't want to use any eyeliner on the bottom, but I think that it makes me look a little bit tired when I just have, well, I mean, I'm always looking a bit tired nowadays, um, but when I just have wings liquid liner on top, I think having nothing at all, no definition whatsoever on that bottom makes me look tired than normal. So I like to put on um, mascara on the bottom lashes to give me some kind of wide awake look. Okay, for my blush, I'm going to use Peaches by MAC, which used to be my all-time favourite. All, all of last year, pretty much, I wore it. Then it came to wintertime, and I thought probably I should switch it up. But I think, you know, it's kind of a bridally colour to have a, a glowing, peachy, blushy kind of look. Um, so I'm going to use that just on the apples of my cheeks. I'm hoping it'll just kind of give me that glowy flush. I'm just going to blend it in. I like to blend in the blush because I'm not the best applier of blush. Um, so I blend it in a little bit with my big um, F30. Just to make sure I've not left kind of a big patch of blush. I just like to blend around it a little bit. Okay. Okay, now for lips. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the nude for this video and then I'm going to link um, a blog post below. Basically with this look but with four different lipsticks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my eye makeup look. Um, I was going to do a couple of different ones and get you to choose which one you like best, but I think this is probably going to be the one that I'm going to do. I like this kind of look, um, kind of neutral, but a little bit more dramatic and a little bit more classic, maybe. I don't think I want any colour on my eyes, um, but it's just dependent on whether or not I want any colour on my lips. So, I've got a few different choices, like I say. Um, what I'm going to wear in this one is I'm going to put on my Viva Glam Gala 2, uh, which is, this is pretty much what I wore on New Year's Eve, the makeup that I wore on New Year's Eve, um, and I wore nude lips as well. Um, but my other options are Speak Louder, which is this kind of, it's kind of an everyday uh, bright, in my opinion, and then Impassioned, which is very much not an everyday bright for me, it's really, really bright. But I've got bright pink shoes, I'm wearing a short dress, um, and I think something maybe a little bit different could be in order. So. I'm thinking I might go for the Impassioned or the Speak Louder, but I've also got my Viva Glam Gaga and Viva Glam 5, which is a really nice, this is my, my lips but better lipstick. So I will post pictures of this look with those lips um, as kind of a four. So if you go there, go to my blog post below and let me know what you think. If you want to come back here and leave me a comment, if you've not got a kind of like... Um, blogger username or whatever else you need to comment on there then go ahead or you can tweet me or whatever but I'd really like to know what you think of the different ones so I'm going to put that below um, but for now I'm going to put on the Viva Glam Gaga wherever I've put that now mm, which is super creamy by the way if you haven't already got this I would get it before they stop selling it because it's so nice But I just think, the only thing that puts me off the nude is I am very pale and although I like this for a nighttime look, I think the, the smoky eyes and the nude lip is going to be dated. And as with the big poofy wedding dresses of the 80s, I don't want to look back at my wedding pictures and think I really wish I hadn't worn smoky eyes and nude lips. Um, maybe if I'd done something a little bit quirkier then it's less trendy and more personal and just more like me on the day. Um, so I'm not sure about this for that reason. Um, but I think I'm kind of leaning towards impassioned or speak louder but you'll have to let me know what you think of the pictures in the blog post below so um, I'm hoping you enjoyed that tutorial and if not at least you know this is the makeup pretty much that I'm going to wear on my wedding day if it does change I probably will do a tutorial afterwards um, but otherwise thanks for watching and if you haven't already please go and subscribe